Two months ago, I embarked on my first ever solo moto camp, and it's pretty easy to say that it's very addictive. I also started up a new YouTube channel where I bring you along the journey in an ASMR silent vlog format, and the response I'm receiving is absolutely mind-blowing. 50K subs in just two months. I'm up to night five. I'm so overwhelmed with all the support so far, so thank you so much if you have subscribed to the channel. If you haven't seen it yet, head over, check it out, and um, let me know your thoughts. I'd love to hear what you think. In this video, we're going to take a look at the gear that I've been using while on my solo moto camping trips, plus a little insight on how I pack it all. I've linked most of the items in the description below, some of which are affiliate links where I get a small kickback from each purchase made using that link at no extra cost to you. Affiliate purchases really do help creators, so thank you so much for your support so far. Just a side note, I'm no expert at this by any means. I've literally just been heading out and I'm now up to night six of doing this solo. So I'm forever trying to figure out new ways of packing. Every time I go out, I pack a different way. So if you guys would like to share your expertise, any tips, tricks, or even products or something that you think might benefit me or anyone else watching, please have a chat, drop in the comments below and share your, share your thoughts, share your two cents. Love to hear from you. But before we get started, I'd just like to say a huge thank you to Rec Watches for sponsoring this video. Rec Watches not only designs their watches based on the appearance of specific cars and motorcycles, but they also use old parts from those specific vehicles in the watch too. The watch I'm wearing today is the TTT Icon 1000 and is made from the 2013 Triumph Speedmaster developed with Icon 1000 Motorsports. Rec watches have repurposed the stator cover of the Speedmaster and transformed it into the dial of the TTT Icon 1000 watch. The Icon 1000 watch also contains references from the design of the bike. The leather strap design is based on the seat, the lugs that fasten the band to the watch were designed to replicate the shape of the pipes and it even has go fast, look flash, etched into the inner case which, wait for it, appears when the wearer switches between dress and ride mode. Yes, the entire watch face rotates 30 degrees so that once you're ready to hit the road, you can rotate the dial so that the 12 o'clock marker is shifted to center it to the rider's field of view. Once again, a huge thank you to Rec Watches for sponsoring this video. If this sounds like something you need in your life, Rec Watches are offering a 15% discount to you guys. More details are in the description below. Doosh. This right here is the Overlander 48 liter bag, dry bag from Lone Rider. They sent this out to me, they didn't pay me to say any of this, there's no money involved. Um, this is just my general thoughts. I love it. It's got a valve to crack all the air, push all the air out, happy days. Straps everywhere, straps galore, and it is super robust, waterproof. Um, I love it, I love it so much. And obviously, the best thing is, is that it is large. Starting off with my cooler bag. I bought this from Ice Mule Coolers. I needed a cooler bag and I saw these guys pop up. They're local to Australia, which is awesome. Very cool bag. It's quite, quite large. You can fit a fair bit of stuff in there. I use it for my beers and my meat and butter. Anything that I need to keep cool just goes in there. Just add some ice and the ice lasts the entire time, which is awesome. Also has a little valve here that you can crack and you can blow it up so it inflates and further insulates all the ice. So when you're in a really hot day, which I haven't come across yet, we're in winter here. Apparently it just keeps it really nice and cold the whole time. Roll top as well. Uh, yeah, this gets heavy though. <laughs> Before I move on, this gets really heavy. This is usually down the bottom of the pack, especially with the weight of the beers, even just the ice and um, the meat and everything. Yeah, it gets pretty weighty. So that is one of the very first things to go into the bag because as we all know, the whole idea is to keep the weight at the lowest point of the bike. Keep that weight low so it helps you with balance and everything like that, even towards the middle of the bike if you can. All right, next up is my my mat. This is my mat or my air bed, my air mattress. This is from Exped. Um, they're pretty pricey, but the quality is insanely good. Uh, I bought this full price and I love it. You can get a thing called a schnozzle for it. So at the moment, I'm just using the, the build in hand pump thing which takes a couple of minutes to do and you're just literally there just you know pumping away you can get a thing called a schnozzle it's like 50 bucks Australian and it I don't know it fills up with air and then you just sort of connect it to this and just go and then apparently you just do a couple of those and it blows up really fast it's got a thermal layer like it's it's good for winter it's light it's small I couldn't find this on the internet anymore though so I don't know if they just discontinued it I don't know why it's, it's great I love it but they've got a whole range of others on there um, so check them out if you want a decent bed. Very comfortable too. This is my detachable, my collapsible, collapsible um, pan. So the reason why it's collapsible is because, and this is just a, a sack that I found. <laughs> I need to get something better for this. Like I said, I'm just still, I'm still nutting everything out. You know what I mean? I don't want to spend money on things that I think I might need, but I don't like this. I bought this. It's just a cheap 
I don't know, spice rack thing. I haven't even opened it because I don't think I want it. But the jars are too big and I just, I just don't need anything like this. I'll show you my system soon, but spice, spice stuff. Uh, every time I come back from a camping trip, I take note of things that I might need or something like that. And then I see how much I actually do need it as the trips go on. And then I'll end up buying something that I really need and a good quality version one as well. Hence the mat. Um, so this is the pan collapsible. So this is great. You can put it on the, on the fire and you know, you won't have the handle on there because it will not melt. <laughs> um, so you can just take the handle off and leave that on there, let it cook up, stick this back on there, take it off and happy days. And obviously it's collapsible so you don't have a handle just, you know, sticking around in your backpack. This is my cutlery. So this little mat I just got off eBay, it was like five bucks, man. So good, came with the chopsticks and some other bamboo um, cutlery. This is Cedar Summit, they're like titanium or something, hand anodized, not titanium. Very strong, very light, very good. And then, you know, set of tongs. But chopsticks, man. Chopsticks, if you don't have a pair of tongs, if you want to go super, super light, super compact, chopsticks, man, way to go. You can just flip your steak around and pick things up. I love chopsticks, they're so good. And then my bowl and plate. So this bag was actually for my, my cheaper ones, um, but they weren't solid. I found out that I needed the solid ones and these are way more expensive. You can even use this base as a chopping board. Let's put it there and just chop, chop, chop. Um, but it's a good plate. These are, these are good quality. I like them. Cedar Summit X plate or something. X bowl and X plate, yeah. They are pretty pricey though. But, you know, like I said, sometimes you need good gear, especially if you're doing this all the time. What else have we got? In here, I've also got my chair. So this chair, it's, what is it? The Explore Planet Earth Pegasus Deluxe Chair. So it's high rising, you can support your, your head on it. You can have a little snooze. It's actually super comfortable. It's got a little pocket on the side, I really like it. Um, I bought this full price. There are smaller ones. This is actually quite big, you know what I mean? I think if I was doing a, you know, a week trip or a long far trip, far? Yeah, <laughs> a far trip. I'd get something smaller. Just probably maybe something just to literally just support your butt and then you sit at the campfire and you're not sitting on the ground basically. Like it says, it's the deluxe chair. <laughs> so it's got a little cushion and it's all high and stuff. But I like it and I get some pretty good responses from the videos and stuff. People are just like, what the heck? A table, got chair? What a good setup. It's awesome. So this is my sleeping bag. It's my winter sleeping bag. It's from Denali. It's a minus 12. It weighs about 2. Point, what is it there? <laughs> 2.13 kilos. Obviously it's pretty big. It's a budget one. Just is what it is, I guess. I have good sleeps in it. I'd like to find one that's got the same sort of temperature rating. I know it's all the temperature is just, you know, a guideline. It'd be good to find something that's a little bit smaller, that's lighter, but has the same sort of rating. Just because it's huge. It's actually, it takes up a lot of room. And it is, you know, it's it's a little bit weighty. Literally down to the grams, guys. The grams matter. 300 grams, you gotta take that into consideration. You can feel it. This is awesome. <laughs> this is a Gerber. Oh, how's it? There we go. This is the Gerber saw that I use to cut all my firewood, my logs and stuff. And again, that was just one of the things when I was out there, I was just like, I could use that log or that branch or that trunk or whatever, but I just have nothing to cut it with. Now I do. Look at this thing. It's very sharp, very good, very compact. The first time I set this up, I cut myself up heaps. <laughs> I think I did it on camera as well. Um, it's a, oh, shizer. Just like that. The camping guy at the camping store said this would be better for me than a hatchet because I was looking at hatchets. And he said that you would just get through wood faster rather than just sitting there just hacking away. But then hatchets are good for splintering and stuff like that as well. But for weight, this is cool. Folds down into nothing as well. It flips around here. Zoomk. And then that comes around here. And you just got that. Awesome. This is my essentials bag. I don't know why I call it that. <laughs> It's not, not everything in here is essential, but first aid kit is. I need a first aid kit. Uh, what else do I have in here? I've got my, this is the Hikensure Ultralight Pillow. I've used this for two nights now, maybe three. Game changer. I had this like $2 crappy one. This is like, it's got a cover on it. It's got an elastic so you can put it on your mattress. So good. Some gloves. This is the Wubin multi-directional light. This thing's awesome. Wubin sent this out to me, so I have an affiliate link in the description below. Not paid to say any of this, but it is a very versatile light. I use it for, like I've got my little lantern things, which I'll show you very soon, but this is just like a big punchy light and it's got different light modes. Very white, very bright, and it's so adjustable. You can turn it any way and clip it onto anything. 
Um, they've even come, got a strap with it so you can wear it as a head torch. But it's just a great handy light and it's very small. It's magnetic as well so you can stick it onto stuff. Really cool. Fire starters, I want to go the natural ones next time. Insect repellent. This is my spirit burner for a thing that I'll show you soon. Some hand warmers and back warmers and stuff. Helps you, these, these help if you just can't shake the cold, especially riding, if you're riding in the rain and you just got wet clothes and you're just a bit freezing all day. Stick one of those on and it'll just get the circulation nice and warm for you. Got a nice little foldable cup. Don't even know where I got this from. But, you know, it's pretty generic. Bit of deodorant, got a knife. William gave me this knife from that little camping trip that we did and I still use it, it's awesome. Matches, I got a multi-tool. It's just a, you know, set of pliers and stuff. It's a pretty cheap one, it's pretty heavy. I need to find a better one. It's actually quite, quite heavy. I've been packing these now, so I did I did a little cook up and I um, cooked with chicken and then I thought, crap, I've got salmonella on my hands. So next time I'm gonna just use a pair of these while I'm handling food like that, um, just for health reasons, I guess. These are the cool little LED lens that I have. Stick them in the sun, they charge up, and then they literally last for like six to eight hours or something. You just leave them on. They're like 35 bucks each. I'll put a link in the description below. Here's a Luki, really dig them. My toothbrush and toothpaste, I need a proper container for this because it gets squeezed out. Uh, head torch, I really like this. This, what is it, Black Diamond, you know. I bought all this stuff as well. This is like, you know, this is all, all me. Batteries, electrical tape, and then just like patches and stuff like that, just in case I put a leak in the mattress or something. And also all, like with all this sort of stuff, I'm not going out too far. Although it might look like I'm in the middle of absolute nowhere, which is awesome. I'm within range of mechanics and stuff like that. Like I'm like an hour and a half out of Melbourne CBD. Um, to two hours like max for now anyway first time doing this sort of stuff the whole idea is to go out in small sections which is what i'm doing i'm basically just doing like a, a radius and i'm getting further and further out and i want to get to the point where i'm doing a few nights at a time and i think like this will change a hundred percent this in here is the firebox stove the firebox stove is awesome it's so versatile i haven't used it to its full potential yet but damn i want to um, and check out firebox stove youtube channel and they give you all the ideas and everything to cook with. You can literally light a massive fire under it. I use the little spirit burner, which is this thing, which is what I was going to show you. This is awesome. Put methylated spirits in there. It's, it's no moving parts. It's all just engineering, baby. And it just doesn't go out. It literally acts as a full on, you know, cooker on your, on your stove. Great little bit of kit. And I just use this for versatility. Like it's so easy. I've got my collapsible kettle, which is in the other bag. It just pops up, boil water, make a coffee, whatever. And, and, and the fact that it collapses into this, like, it's, it's so thin, so compact. This is one of the first things to go into the bag, or well, it is the first thing to go in the bag. It literally sits on the base, base of it, all the weights all down there, because it is quite heavy, but I love it, I love it. And then the last thing, and this is the, another thing that goes on the base of the bag first. It's not too heavy, the head firebox is heavier. This is my cool grill, little collapsible grill. Join that steak up, and then you just hammer that into the ground right near the campfire. And this thing's solid as man, so solid. That goes on like this, and then this goes on like that, and then boom, you can put so much weight onto this. Depending on how solid your ground is, like hammer it right down really deep. You, there's nothing, it doesn't bend, like it's so solid. It's ridiculous, so good. I've actually put logs in there, wet logs over a, um, a small fire to try to dry, dry the logs out, and it works, 100%. The only downside is I struggled finding them online. I don't know if they've discontinued them. It's from All Terrain Gear. Yeah, I don't know. I've got to try to find something similar and I'll link them in the description. Hopefully I'll find something. And that's, that's basically it. That's what I have in bag number one. Um, let's move on to bag number two. This is the dry duffel bag from Lone Rider as well. So good. Again, full resistant, very, very good. It's got all the things. You can do all the things. Um, yeah, I love it. Love it. So this is the top bag that goes onto this bag and it all clips in and ties down really nicely as well. So you want to just like minimize that movement. In this bag, I keep my shoes and I just put shoes in a plastic bag. I don't know if there's, you know, if, if you guys put them in anything else that looks a little bit better. <laughs> I bought the Solomon hiking shoe. They're really cool. I have a set of Kings. They're the high ankled ones. They're a bit heavier and they take up more space. So that's why I just went with something a little bit smaller. They're waterproof or up to about there or something. This is my little table. The table's handy, not a necessity. Um, and I know you guys, like some of you guys are like, what the hell, you're taking so much stuff. And yeah, absolutely I am. But I feel like that's part of the part of the thing I wanna share is, you know, I, wanna, I want people to be like, what the hell, how do you fit everything onto your bike? You've got table, chair, all these cooking stuff. 
I'm like, yeah, man. This is how I do it. So this one's from MacPack. I bought this. I don't. I like it. I definitely like it. It's very light. This is their hiking table. So I'm not sure if I've mentioned this, but to start off, I was just literally just searching for hiking gear lightest and most compact gear for camping that you can find. I would like it if this was like aluminium or something because you can't put anything hot on this and I want to just be able to like take my, my pan off the fire and just put it straight onto here without melting a hole in it. And every time I make a little spill and I literally spill stuff all the time, it just stains. I've washed this as well, but it's, it just ends up getting stained and it's going to be grubby in no time. That's six nights. It's not bad, it's, you know, it is It is what it is. And then that's they're the legs and it folds down into that. This is my liner, sleeping bag liner. These are super handy. They extend the life of your sleeping bag and they keep you a little bit warmer as well. So, and they, you know, that's pretty small. So that's a handy thing to have. This is the collapsible kettle. There are some hella expensive ones at you know, camping shops and everything. I bought this for 10 bucks, hey, just from a cheap home warehouse thing. And I've used this so much, as you can tell, and there's no leaks, it works every time. It's a kettle, it boils water. This is cool, this is the Optimus fuel bottle, so it's not that big, 300 mils, and I just fill that with methylated spirits. This is my little compression sack. So in here I have, this is where I keep the, my big, my big warm jacket, my big puffy boy uh, that goes in there. And then obviously I'm like just camping out for one night. Oh crap, here we go. <laughs> uh, I'm just camping out for one night. So just like one pair of undies, one pair of socks, another t-shirt, that's it. And then like it's all zipped up and compressed in this. This is a very cheap one. I wouldn't mind another one that's a bit better. The zip, like look at that, you can see it. So now I've got to, Maybe it's a little bit too small and I'm just really trying to compress it and it just <laughs> blows the zip open. This is my collapsible water storage bottle. <laughs> water storage bottle. Water bottle. This is a Hydra Pack Seeker, three liters of water. Feels pretty solid. I've had no issues with it so far. I've used it for about four of the nights. Um, you can screw on the attachment so that you can filter lake water or whatever, river water. And I use biodegradable uh, wet wipes. So these are great for just having a quick little shower before going to bed or washing your dishes or, you know, pretty much anything that you need to clean. I have the Garmin InReach Plus for obvious reasons. These are my little egg holders. <laughs> Obviously don't need those, but you know, eggs. These are my little coffee bag, the pour over guys. I love these so much. Uh, Grounded Drops Coffee, got an affiliate link in the description below, check them out. And I picked up these little plastic bottles from the camping store. One just has uh, environmentally friendly detergent and the other one has olive oil in it. And then these little guys I just bought from the market. So one has salt, one has pepper, and then I put like butter or Vegemite or any sort of paste in the other one. But they're just super handy, very light, very small and easy to pack. And this right here is my tank bag. You would have seen it on my on my tank. And I just carry, I'm using the, the camera that I use now, just right there, but that goes into you here. So I just got some foam, that cut out sort of stuff. Um, and then that's how my drone lives. It's all nice and snug and easy, easy days. It's nice and safe, it's waterproof, shockproof. Um, and the drone is tiny. This is the tiny, tiny Mavic Mini. This is the first one though. Um, I want, I'd like to get the new one, but yeah, it's cool. So that's where I'm at now, guys. That's where I'm at. Night six will be coming out next week, um, Saturday next week. I'm loving it. I'm loving the little adventures. Thank you so much for joining. I'm so stoked that you, in, you're you enjoying it as well. It's so good. I'm actually so happy. And I mean, like, I love tech, I love gear, and this is just the best way for me to utilize my own gear when you're just out by yourself and everything. Go out exploring. Exploring by yourself is awesome. It gets pretty funny at nighttime. It gets a little bit creepy. Like, yeah, absolutely. You're in the dark, you're in the wilderness, nothing around. No bears in Australia, by the way. I've been asked that so many times. What do you do if there's a wild animal? We, we don't really have anything here, apart from all the poisonous snakes and stuff. And sharks, we've got sharks, dingoes and crocs. That's it. But we're pretty safe in Victoria. It's all good. This is my kid so far. If you have any tips, any tricks, anything that you think I might be interested in or anybody else that's watching, please drop in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much, guys. I'll see you in the next vid. Boys. Oh, ah, yeah. Birds and crickets.